Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Goliath on this one. Uh, my voice was a little bit disjointed at the minute because I was about to say lo and behold, the time we play uh, Goliath, we're going against Jack, which is literally the hunter that's designed to counter this monster. But, here we go. Uh, we're going to do... We're going to contrast with the map on this one because we're going to play Magma Goliath. Uh, this skin's actually the rarest skin in the game because it was actually only available in the Legacy time frame it never came to stage two so this was you know it was only available to people who actually played legacy so a bit of trivia uh, it's a bit of a scary team because Cabot's on it which means all the damage is going to be amplified and they have got the better version of Markov in this one so you know um, they've also got colonists as well as the match meter uh, as per the previous video I didn't really apologize for it in that one but my energy so to speak you know because i'm usually quite deadpan anyway uh might be a little bit lacking because i have just finished work however there is five days off ahead of me of zero human interaction with the general public so we are very very happy at the moment um i just might not have the energy to portray it at the moment because i've just finished a shift as i say so you know happy times are here it just doesn't sound like it because it's me uh, right, anyway, let's get into this. Uh, you split up, which is, you know, not ideal, but we'll go and get the corpse that usually spawns over here. There it is. Striders are, we can get you. I was going to say, I'm not going to go for the others because they're running back towards the uh, hunters there. We are going to get out of this area quite quickly. Oh, shit, that's not good. Let's dip through the cave. We rarely ever go through the cave. It's quite a nice part of this map. Very rarely go in here. Obviously it's a bit fucking scary because they're literally right there, but... Okay, it's very scary. Are you going to actually react to that? Yes, you are! Okay, we're going this way then. Cave tours are short-lived. I do want this, though. Ideally, because this is insanely greeter. Get out! Don't want to get domed. Not stage one. I am not equipped to fight properly in my juvenile years. There's a lot of birds showing up as well at the moment. Need to be careful of them coming out of here, actually thinking about it. I might dip through this way. Maybe. No, they've gone the other way, I think. We'll just grab stage two, be on the safe side. I'm going to do it here, because there's no immediate line of sight in this area. It's fine. actually thought the Nomad was it then. Shit myself. There we go. Now a little bit bigger, we've got more HP. Yeah, they went the long way around, so that's fine. That gives us a lot of uh, uh, ease of mind, I should say, that we can eat these. We'll do. Uh, we'll get into a fight here, actually. Very nice skin, this one. Very fiery. That's obviously the red of the truck, but it's very fiery because it's magma. Goliath has a red uh, armor glow anyway, but some of the skins do change armor colors. These dozy fuckers don't know me. Yeah. Come on, cheat. Use that AI. Yeah, there it is. I'm leaving no tracks at the moment, but you shouldn't know I was there, but you know. <laughs> it's AI. They literally just know where I am by ones and zeros, so... Shit, I missed that. It's fine, you can literally just allow me to hand deliver that boulder to you. That's good. Uh, where is my... Jack, there he is. There's Jack being... A menace to Goliath because he can restrict movement massively. Fire Breath doesn't really uh, suffer too much though. Uh, we need to confirm that because 
There it is. This is now turning into a shit situation because of his repulsor. There it is. Fuck me, dude. Get out. Right, well, we're immediately going to stage three in this one then. This is what I'm saying when I talk about this one being ridiculous for Goliath. Because it makes 90% of his kit literally pointless of, you know, just not <laughs> not being relevant. So we're going straight to stage 3. We're not going in for another fight now. It's a good opportunity to point out Legacy's design space though. Um, if this happened in stage 2, you were literally fucked as the monster. There was no coming back from it. The meter for evolving this meter that you're seeing now is smaller than what it was in stage 2. So if you did get into a situation like this, you had the agency as the monster to grab stage 3 a bit easier. Just, I do think the, the evolved meter from uh, Legacy was all just betterly designed, to be honest. The re I can see why they changed it to what it was in stage 2, because they wanted to enforce more... You know, they wanted more fights because people were complaining about how boring tracking the monster was, but, you know... That was down to issues with them not actually using the fact that you were on a literal alien planet and anything could exist to, uh, you know, increase the game flow, or whatever the word is, you know, keep the game flow going, so to speak. The wildlife that exists in the game now that could have been used for that. Blitz leopards, uh, venom hounds, trap jaws, Literally any predatory animal on this planet could have been used in a horde based type system or random encounter just to spruce things up for the hunters as they were hunting the monster. But we never did it, so, you know. Right, well, this is probably going to be a very quick game actually, to be honest, uh, in one way or another, because we're either going to get fucked or we're going to wipe here, because we are stage 3. I am immediately going to go for Jack again though, because I want to get this shit off the battlefield as quickly as possible, so we don't have a repeat of that. We've isolated him quite massively here as well. That's good. Fuck, I did that wrong. I want to stop him from getting this revive. Val's going to uh, beam him though. We are going to go for Val. He's going to get that revive. I need to get out, actually, I've just realised. Because he's going to dome me. I need to get some armour before we walk into that shit again. You get some strikes there, that was the positives of that. Ooh, move speed, that's nice. Very nice indeed. Our stage 3 monsters should move. That's just because of um, monster speed doesn't change from stage 1 up to stage 3. So at stage 1 you feel quite fast, but at stage 3 you feel very slow. At stage 2 obviously feels quite realistic. There we go. I'll do. We do hit the wrong one with that, that's unfortunate. That's good for us. Do you get that because it's in the corner? Oh shit. Nope, we do get him. <clears throat> Getting this man off the battlefield is also quite good. That's probably going to be it. down. It's not because I misangled it. There it is. Uh. healing burst. Good. We're going to get out again. Before I take too much damage. We're 20 seconds on Jack at the moment. 
We're just going to do the usual rant here because I'm, I'm enjoying myself again and I know some people on the channel do find it quite hilarious when I go into one of these but I just want to exaggerate to you, um, even if you're a new viewer or an existing one. This is entirely 100% as fun as it fucking looks by the way and this is against bots. So you need to just sort of imagine what it's like against players and you don't really need to do that because there is a playlist on my channel where I was playing against real people. And this game literally blows every other fucking ASIM out of the water on the market, including the fucking big daddy at the moment that's literally just... I'm not going to go into it, but you know, looks like it's made by a fucking group of students at a fucking university for, you know, baby's first Unity game, but you know. It's fine. That shit's apparently top of the range these days. Meanwhile, this looks like it could have been released today and plays just as fun. I think Val's actually the priority target here because she's legit fucking losing me the game here. That was a good job that that was on target because we're about to die, I think. Right, go out again. That's fine, don't want to get the damage magnifier on me. Been tranked at the moment. A creature in existence on this planet would be nice right now, because I would like to get in there and capitalise on Jack not being there. But I guess the game just said no, no wildlife for you. That's some, some over there as well, wasn't there? But yeah, I've said I've said my piece on it a million times there anyway with the whole DBD being, you know. DBD is basically the way I see it. I mean, obviously no everybody else doesn't because obviously it is wildly successful. But if you've ever seen the meme of the guy who's in like third place biting the fucking medal and taking all the credit for, you know, the win and all that sort of shit, that's basically DBD and evolves on like the, the first place pedal, uh, pedestal. Like, that's literally how I see the ASIM genre, because this game just fucking blows it out of the water massively in terms of quality and gameplay. Because, I mean, seriously, we've had eight years of literally just running around in fucking circles from teenagers with knives, and yet everybody's okay with that shit for some reason. Yet we could have had this, where it was on an alien planet with giant monsters that you could actually play as, who play and look like you know, genuine raid bosses from a lot of like AAA titles today in both attention to detail and animation, but I don't know, the gaming world chose the fucking shit option as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. That's a lot of mines I do not want to walk into. Uh, that's not going to go to anyone important. We do take a mine out with it though. Uh, I'm not falling into that trap again, you're dying. But yeah, this, this game was... it's fucking... it was so much more fun with actual players, but they shut it down. And I've said it before, like, the reason why they shut it down, as far as I'm concerned, not to tinfoil at you or anything like that, you know, that sort of theory shit, but the reason, part of the reason they shut this down is because they won't put the fucking effort in these days. A game like this takes too much effort to maintain these days because of the quality of the animations and everything that has to go into it. Stupid fucking idea we're getting out for that uh, particular reason. But I mean, at the same time, not to play, well, I don't know if it's to play a devil's advocate, I'm trying to use phrases here, but I can see why they wouldn't want to spend the effort, because, I mean, seriously, the a the, the top of the ASIM genre looks like Dead by Daylight, so, you know, why should anybody else put any effort in when something as shit as that is uh, the top, you know? And again, this isn't sort of me insulting the people who do animate um, and you know, work for that game, you know, didn't do make stuff for that game. But I mean, look, the animations and everything for directional based attacks, 
You don't get that in games. You don't get that in Dead by Daylight. You get one singular animation on every killer for the attacks and things. It's th the evidence is on screen. You'll understand what I'm talking about if you play DVD. Like I used to be somebody that did enjoy DVD, but I enjoyed DVD in 2016, you know. And now, it's, to me, it just looks fucking dated. But yet, yeah, this is a 2015 game, and it doesn't look dated. This it looks like it could come out today, but it's dead. It is what it is. But I will take it to my grave, fellas, uh, when I say that we chose fucking wrong massively in the ASIM genre, as far as I'm concerned. Just because we can't have fucking Michael Myers in this game doesn't mean that it's not worthy of success and, you know, all the monsters and all the different hunters we could have had uh, in this game, you know. Uh, they've gone around the corner. Who the fuck is coming back? Uh, I think we're gonna get. Well, we're gonna get Val and Jack. I think. I don't think Cabot was on that timer. Good dodge, sir. I tip my hat to you. That was uh, pretty well made, actually. I mean, look at the fucking animation. Because he's got like that overhead swing happens when he when there's a character that is diagonally facing him. So when it's not, you know, not straight in front of the monster, he will literally overhead swing like that. And this all happens in real time. Fucking hell! Show me a game that has that level of finesse to it in this day and age. Because I fucking I bet there isn't one. There definitely isn't one in the ASIM genre anyway. I'll tell you that right now. There's hundreds of animations for each monster in this game to make it feel alive because effort was put into this fucking game. As much as we want to, you know, slag it off for its DLC shit that's literally... The argument doesn't fucking have any sort of basis to be valid these days. When you're all buying fucking skins for 15 quid on TCM and all that shit, it's just... Fucking stupidity, mate, it really is. Well, this is actually good evidence as well, because this is going like a, like a human game would. The longevity of it. Didn't get the splash there, because she dodged it. There we go. Need to go out again. Uh, there is a body there. It's only going to be one bar of armour, though. Just to remain neutral though on DVD's point of view, I will say that I do, in certain aspects, enjoy DVD. It's just that it's very samey over and over again, and it's very imbalanced as well. I love that in there, the old chestnut. Like it is, you can't like say to me that the developers of DVD play their own game because they just don't. It's blatant. But they like to ensure that they uh, they know what's best for your experience, you know that kind of thing. Dickhead developing is what I like to call it. Similar to um, the situation at the moment with TCM at the same time, but TCM is just a whole different flavour of just dumb fuckery, quite honestly. Because we've got developers on that team that are literally starting fights with people on Twitter and thinking they're. A, scoring societal points for it and it's they, they just can't understand that they're actually digging the grave deeper and deeper because i'm telling you now they've already said they've got content up until august for tcm but it's not going to go any further than that i'll guarantee that to you all because they've already managed to piss the player base off by just trying to be smart asses sure. it's just like this this genre uh it's on its own is just cursed by either Mediocrity, which is what we currently have, or terrible fucking decisions that get games killed. I need to assess this now. I might go a bit quiet because I need to concentrate. I need him to fuck off, and I, don't, I need Jack to not be there. That's 
pick. Get me out. I can't be in there. I need to get some armor. Can I please have some immediate wildlife just in this one occasion? Please, game. I need to be back in there. Give me... that's going to be 4 bars, 24 seconds... It's fine, the 24 seconds we've got a little bit of time when the dropship's actually coming in, that's just when it respawns. Let's get in. Because there's only Markov and this one colonist left. Bollocks, I mistimed that. I need to get in. That's fine, I didn't expect you to actually be that stupid, that's fine. It's going to be him dead. We'll use him for armor. He perma dies because he's a colonist. There is a lot of mines up here that I do not like. That's fine. We'll fight through this because the rest of the team is not going to be here just yet. Oh shit. That's not good. Would have said that leap smash should have been a hit. Thank you, sir. Where's the other corpse there? Please land. Thank you. Get in there. Absolute prick. We're out. He's got him up. But again, this is bots. It's f uh, it's fine. It's okay. There's more depth and excitement in this single round than there has been in eight fucking years of Dead by Daylight. It's fine though. The game's dead, but it doesn't matter. It's, everything's completely fine. We didn't choose wrong in this genre. We didn't um, kill a game for the clout of the YouTube twat wagon back in the day. When, you know, it was hip and cool to hate on a game for turning guns blue and, you know, fighting for my wallets and all this bollocks that's aged like absolute shit. The same people these days, and it wasn't just one person, it was a fucking handful of them. And all they do today is they gamble and they buy shit fucking loot boxes that make guns blue. But no, that's all right. You know, we, we, we killed a very good project for the sake of clout, basically. I need to kill him. I need to get out again. I lost too much armor. That's fine. I need him to stay there. That's good, he's going back. Because of our little health we've got now, we need to do this perfectly. We need this to be a very clean sweep. That's quite good, because she's isolated. We get the charge, I need to kill her. There she goes. Now we go for Cabot. We flame breath. We get him. We don't go for you yet. We go for you. Animations on point again. Good shit. There it is. Get rid of that. Lol. That's fine. That should be it. That's a shield. We've got 35 seconds. He doesn't survive this. As long as I don't fuck my abilities up when I'm panicking. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, I need my flame breath, but that's going to be huge. There it is. Eight fucking years, ladies and gentlemen, of running around in circles by being chased by masked teenagers with knives or, you know, whatever the fuck they try to sell these days, K-pop stars throwing knives at you and things. But it doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm insulting the wrong thing there in terms of DVD anyway, because I do think that some of the DVD characters are actually quite good. It's just the fact that they're chained to the same archaic fucking game design that DVD is, where it is literally glorified Ring Around the Rosie Simulator, which it's been for eight years. The game hasn't fucking changed for eight years at its core. It just hasn't. Yeah, it's always been run around in circles, get chased. Oh, we've run around in circles off that. We've wasted the bit of wood that we've dropped in front of this killer. He's kicked it. Let's move to the next loop. Let's repeat the same situation until the killer catches me. And that's literally been the fucking ASIM genre for eight years. Right. When we could have had something like this. 
yeah, in 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 the genre, what you what you have just seen, and this is against bots. It's not fucking people, you know. It's not it's not me going against four other brains, yeah. Because we would have actually lost that probably if it was against human players there. Because I would have been the trapper would have been chasing me down when he when he knew when to chase me down, which is when I was running away at low health at stage three. That's when you do chase a stage three monster because that's when you win because you need to run off and eat wildlife as the monster to get your armor back. Um, so it would have gone very differently with players they would have actually beaten me in that situation. But that aside, that was a game against bots. Oh, it's fucking unreal. I, 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 I just sometime, sometime in 2015, February of 2015, when this game was released, about six months after that release, I fucking went to sleep, and I got teleported to the wrong fucking timeline, fellas. I really did. Like I woke up in the shit fucking dimension of Asims, where this didn't take off, but DVD did. I'm genuinely laughing there and out of pain because we we just we chose wrong we really did I can't put it any other way it's just it is what it is it, that is the cut and dry opinion as I will say you know even though opinion that it's backed up with fucking mountains of evidence in this video as to you know the finesse, attention to detail, game design, and also just game flow that just absolutely annihilates both DBD and TCM, quite honestly, because, I, I mean, it's not even, not, I'm not saying this to, you know, to add, to bolster the point that I'm trying to make in this video, really, because I'll be completely honest, when I played TCM for the channel, after about the third or fourth video uh, I made on it, I was getting bored of it, and I could feel myself getting bored of it, but that was back before the developers revealed themselves to be complete cunts. That was when I was of the mind that, you know, maybe we were going to get a decent ASIM again, but as you can tell by this point in time, it's not going to fucking happen. Uh, this time in, well, not this time, but this August coming, we're going to be back to just DVD again because they've just decided to fucking commit corporate suicide for no particular reason other than to demonstrate to the world that they've got very thin skin uh, for no particular reason, quite honestly, because they just decided to start fights with the consumers that were trying to give them constructive feedback um, and then basically pissed fuel into a fire and tried to put it out by adding more fire to it. So... That's been completely driven into the ground, so we will be back to um, just DVD this time in August. But, ladies and gentlemen, I will leave this with you because I will take this opportunity, actually, as just crossed my mind, just to advertise a little game called Last Year to you. That one we have played on the channel, and I would put that between the current absolute stagnancy of this genre and... Uh, evolve itself because I do think that last year is a step above both TCM and um, Dead by Daylight in terms of quality and creative space. If you don't know what last year is, we have uh, a playlist on the channel of me playing that as well. Um, and it's basically it's it's I don't know how to describe it really. It's not it's not like Evolve, but it's it's basically Left for Dead verses but with one special infected but in <laughs> it's a weird thing to say but in evolved boss like style if you know what i mean where the the player who's playing as the killer slash monster you know it, they are killable but they have a lot of hp but you are playing as a monster and that leads me on to the next point of why i'm so excited about it because they have a very diverse roster planned. There's no... It's not that there's no theme for the monster in that game, but there isn't... It's not chained to being just humanoids and humanoid monsters. We've got... Already there's a spider in there, so to speak, and they've released uh, skins that they're going to be making for the game, which, you know, it's... A touchy subject to start, you know, speaking about skins before the game comes out. I'm fully aware of this, um, but 
the skin they have posted already is a model swap for the spider they recently uh, posted, which is that they turns it into a giant crab, which I thought was quite hilarious. But this, if it goes right, and it's a big fucking if in the industry these days, I know that. Um, if it actually goes right and they don't start fucking shoveling this down your throat because that's what Evolve did I will say that that was how you don't fucking monetize your game you don't, you know make the game release a trailer and then start shoveling pre-order you know pre-order DLC down your throat to your consumers because they just won't like it they'll just immediately say nah fuck that, I'm not doing it you need to show the game off first but we do have, they, they have shown the game off because I've got videos of it on the channel, and there's, there's videos of everybody else playing it who played it on, you know, on YouTube. You can you can actually look at gameplay of this game um, on on YouTube. So there is gameplay there. So that there is already a game that's been made, and there is already a game that is fun. Because each of these killers all have their own sort of executions and their own sort of powers and everything as well. Um, and each killer does have multiple executions. Uh, if you are from Dead by Daylight, if you're still here, um, they would be your Mori's. But the, the the kills in last year are part of the game itself. So you'd be attacking the uh, the, the classmates, which are your survivors hunters. Um, and once they, you know, once you've you beat them down, you've incapped them. That's when you can execute them. And there is an execution for front of the survivor, the side of the survivor, both sides have different executions as well, from left or right, depending on which way the survivor's down, you know, when which way they're facing when they're down. So if you approach from the front, the back, or the left or the right, there's a unique uh, execution animation for each direction. So every sort of monster they make, or every killer, is going to have basically four executions. Uh, I can't speak for whether they're going to include, you know, ones that you can buy, but there is, you know, there's a design space for that, and so far they've released uh, concept art for... Well, I'll put it this way, right, I'll explain the, the killers that are actually in the game now. Um, they're all humanoid, except the spider, but this is what I'm talking about when the new development team come in, and this is what I'm excited for. So, the, the ones that we've got in at the moment, we've got the slasher, the strangler, the the giant and the spider so the slasher is your stereotypical he's basically the trapper you know he's, he's the bog standard you know he's, he's the janitor he's a, a school janitor with an axe very generic but you know you've got to have one uh the one i liked the most the strangler i was a bit disappointed i will say this on camera that they went a bit pc political correct with this because originally the um the strangler was a homeless war veteran so he was um, obviously, you know, suffering PTSD and all that, which, you know, they, they said it was uh, not in touch with the times was the reasoning. So that put a bit of a bad taste in my mouth because I thought, fucking hell, here we go. We're going to make the giant not Russian next night as well, aren't we? Um, but they've not said anything on that yet. So we'll, we'll see. Um, but I do think things in that particular vein, because it is the realm of fantasy, it should be left unfucking touched because it is not real. But, you know, anyway, um, they've changed him to a sort of biker style thing, which are. Um, but anyway, uh, as long as they keep his laugh echoing down the halls at the beginning and he's, he's, you know, his actual, his laughter and everything, which was a big part of what I enjoyed about The Strangler because he was quite amusing. He was fucking creepy as well, the way he used to laugh all the time. As long as they keep that in, that'll be, uh, I'm not bothered about that. Then you've got The Giant. I'm just, <laughs> just doing this at the end of the Evolve video because I want to get this in there. I want to get it on a video like this to explain things to you. Uh, the Giant, which is a, uh, as you would imagine, a incredibly buff Russian uh, escaped convict um, who is obviously a prison, he's in prison overalls, he's quite fun uh, a lot of his executions are very brutal and then we have the spider who is the first monster style killer, She's, she is obviously a giant spider and one of her executions is she does come from behind uh, the survivor, she crawls over them gets the survivor's head in her jaws and her mandibles at the beginning and she gives, she does this really gruesome twist where she basically unscrews the head off the survivor with a mouth like you, you you hear that shit cracking as well like when she does it it's really nasty and then she does actually eat the head 
of the uh, the survivors. So there is there is brutal kills in it as well. It's not again like TBD, a game that's been in this genre for eight years as a horror game, but not had any fucking gore in it until recent times. And I'm not talking about you know stabbing a fucking waxwork. The only killer that had gore in it up until recently was the hag. Um, who rips out the survivor's pancreas and starts eating it. That was good. That's a good Mori because it was a horror game, you know? But everything after that, there's fucking no gore in it. It's just basically somebody stabbing a fucking wax corpse. It doesn't it doesn't work for me anyway, but, you know. But there's a spider and then there's a two new killers that are coming to it, which are completely new. We've got the Dryad, the dryad and the Warlock. The Dryad is a plant lady, who went with a female design for this, very obviously by the concept art, which I like, thank you for doing that. Please do not st uh, stray away from adding sexuality to you, your games for, you know, basis of it being not politically correct these days, because I know, you know, going into a complete other tangent, I know the female body is a fucking crime to uh, lay eyes upon these days, but, you know... Um, we do have a plant lady in there. Uh, I don't know what our executions are going to be. That's part of what I'm excited about. And we also have the Warlock, which is a ghost wraith style monster. Uh, the actual wraith, not the wraith in this uh, evolve. Uh, an actual wraith, like a, you know, the cloaked sort of ghost kind of monster. So he'll be quite interesting as well. But yeah, uh, massively long video. This I might make this into a special one-off because we did get a lot of top, uh, topics and venting done in this video. And my viewers seem to enjoy venting because every time I speak about stuff like this, it because you know there's there's somebody in the comments who always says, yeah, that was a good video. We like when you do this. So there it is, ramblings um, of somebody who is depressed with the genre he has forced himself into, uh, and is held back the rising vomit in the back of my throat throughout the years and tried to give this genre some enjoyment. Um, but there it is. All my thoughts will hopefully be in this video in some spaghetti form or other. I just sort of vomit it out. I don't have any sort of script to follow. Like a lot of people who, who make videos about these sort of things, the I, I imagine they write a script and then vo uh, talk over it. But this is recorded live, so... But there it is. I will love you and leave you. There is a rant video again for you. They come around every now and then. So there's another one. Hope you've enjoyed the gameplay that was probably about half an hour ago at this point. But, you know, there it is. Hope you've enjoyed and I will hopefully see you for the next one. <laughs> Bye.